Hey guys, it's me Google Cubing and in this video I'm gonna show you how I washed my puzzle before lubricating it and I apologize in advance for not taking a whole video of the process. I've taken short video clips in between and I will try to explain my best using the pictures I have clicked. So yeah, let's get started. So first step I do is get the cube I want to wash and get a stainless steel uh, bowl. I don't like uh, those glass bowls because I have broken one bowl and my mom got really angry at me. So I would suggest a stainless steel bowl. And you can also use the stainless steel bowl to dye stickless cubes into black paste. So that's why I would recommend a stainless steel bowl over a glass bowl. Then next step after you've gotten a stainless steel bowl would be to fill it with water and then a dish washing soap of your choice i use dishwashing powder and not a uh, liquid but even you can use anything you want you can also use liquid or you can also use powder then i also get an old brush uh, you will know why i use a brush later on but yeah just get a brush handy i would recommend an older one which you do not use now or you can just use a current one and buy a new one for yourself it <laughs> doesn't matter and yeah then i uh, uh, take an old brush and then i just mix all the water and the uh, soap mix it together and then i start dropping in uh, the pieces i disassemble, disassemble the corners and edge pieces and just throw them in the mixture keeping the core in my hand now once you've started disassembling the puzzle you also start disassembling disassembling the core i take another container and start unscrewing and keep the screws washers and spring in that and then i also take another container and i keep the center caps in that uh, because I won't be washing the center cap so you can just keep this aside for now you won't be requiring it till the end um, then once I'm done disassembling the puzzle I just drop each and every piece there should be 26 and I drop drop each and every piece in the mixture apart from the screws and center caps so now you dip your hands in the mixture and start to mix the soap water and the pieces together and i tend to let the key, uh, pieces soak for a while like two three minutes before i start washing them uh, but you can start uh, start to directly wash the pieces after that uh, now comes the use of the brush so here I'll be showing you how I wash the edge pieces, corner pieces and the, uh, the core piece, center piece. So in this I use the brush and start to uh, wipe the uh, lubed portion of the piece with the brush. So doing so I can uh, get reach 100% areas of the puzzle and yeah clean the lube really really efficiently and in a very productive manner. So that's why I like using a brush over doing it by hand. There are some hard to reach areas that you cannot uh, reach using the hand so I have found the brush method to be really useful for those uh, those places. And and the brush method also uh, works really really nice with core and center caps it has the hole in which it is like really impossible to reach anything there as, up, up, aside from the bristles of the brush so that's why I tend to use a brush uh, it uh, gives me really clean finish uh, I can expect 100% uh, the cube to be 100% clean of lubrication and everything else which sometimes I have seen that just wiping it off with tissues and paper towel doesn't work so that's why I would recommend using a brush but yeah you can also use paper towels it doesn't really matter as long as you are satisfied with the cleaning of your puzzle but i would definitely recommend a brush if you should definitely try it uh, then next i once i have done washing the pieces with brush soap water i just uh, take all of the pieces in a separate container with fresh clean water and start rinsing off the pieces uh, of the soapy water this moment i just I use an old uh, towel and lay it on my bed and then I switch on the fans and, and AC and everything so that the piece starts to dry off. Uh, many people like to overnight let them dry but I just keep them under the fan, a uh, high speed fan for around like one hour and all of the pieces are dried and yeah just let them be there for a while and let the pieces dry and at this point I also get take the center caps and just uh, make them in an orderly manner so now I'll be soon starting the lubrication process so I like to 
sort the yellow corners yellow edges white corners white edges center caps and the non non yellow and non white uh, edges and center ca uh, center pieces in an orderly manner so that i can start the lubrication process and not have to find uh, the pieces and then in the end i just start to wash the uh, screws because it has that uh, black black thing which i think uh, should be washed so i use the same method brush i just uh, add a little bit of soapy water in the container i just uh, had i had keep in, kept the screws in and then i just use the brush and start washing it and then i just take the washer and rub it on the container for a while until i am satisfied with the finish i get so now we have uh, washed pieces the core the center caps uh, sorry the center pieces and the screws so now i just lay the screws also at a corner of the bed now I really take my time and thoroughly dry the screws, the springs and washers, otherwise they may start to rust. So I would definitely recommend to uh, take care of your screw, center cast, and washer and uh, spring first so that you don't get rust on them. And yeah, that's basically it. Now you can start the lubrication process. I have two lubrication videos you can watch. I will link them down in the description. And this is my cube after I have lubricated it. And yeah, that's basically it. My that's basically my lubrication process. I use soap water, brush, and pieces, wash the pieces with the brush, then dry them off, wash the screws and uh, springs with brush, then dry them off, and then start the lubrication process. So yeah, I with this I get a hundred percent clean finish, and I don't have to worry about the residue of the lube sticking in my hand or getting that black gooey stuff in my hands because all of that gets absorbed by the soapy water. So I really like this method, and I would definitely recommend you try this method uh, at least once, and then see for yourself if you like this or not. So yeah, that's it for the videos, guys. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. And I will soon be uploading a last lot, last layer video. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.